Hey Vault Hunters, Stud Doogie here with a video brought to you or made possible by Semantics B. Semantics B, for when killing Chaunt gets you a better Maggie. Uh, but for reals though, we're going to be taking... This video is really a conversation about what the actual level cap did. The level cap increase did. So before the level cap increase, there was a lot of... I want to use the word speculation because, you know, when people write on the forums, they don't write as if they're speculating. They write as if they know, you know, like they have some some deeper insight than everybody else. Two projectiles, fan, freaking tastic. Um, so, you know, saying they write as if they have all the answers and they know everything. So using the word speculation uh, it might be a, a tad too generous. Um, but anyway, people couldn't make any sense of three points and blah blah blah. But what happened with the three points is the following. The first problem that the three points solved is that it means that you don't, we don't immediately have to reform all our gear. So your level 50 gear is effective against level 53 enemies. Right. The second thing that the three points did is it normalized power across the board. And what I mean by normalize is as follows. So if you think about it like a curve, on the far end, the right side of the curve, your powerful gear, like your meta weapons, your um, is this the one I want? Magazine size, yeah. Um, your cutsmans, your Leudas, your brainstormers. You know, that stuff, uh, they become uber powerful, mega powerful, right? Your mid tier weapons now become powerful, and your low tier weapons become your mid tier. So, variety of weapons you can now bring to the, to the raid, especially and including the fact that it's now, you can, it's scaled, so it's not four player all the time. You can, you know, do one player if you want, or team up with your friend and do two player, whatever you want. So you're no longer forced to deal with it four player difficulty. You, there's so many more options available to us now in terms of doing the raid. And, you know, that is important because people were complaining about the fact that the raid required that you use um, meta gear. And, you know, I, I had no problem with that because you know, there needed to be a place where you could exercise these powerful guns because all the other content in the game is, you know, pretty much a cakewalk, right? So having a spot in the game where you could let a Liuta go beast mode or let a cutscene go beast mode. Okay. Alright, fine. Um, you know, it was not necessarily a bad thing. So let's put this bad boy on so we can get some uh, immunity next time our show breaks. Yeah, so having that option available I thought was, on balance, a good thing. Got my immunity. My stuff should be back momentarily. Let's get this Alright, that's good. Double projectiles, y'all. Shits is real. But I'm not going to bitch about it. I'm just going to adapt to improvise and overcome. Because that's what you do when you're a gamer. It solves the problems. He went upside down. I hit him so hard, he went upside down. Yeah, I realized that, right? I'm like... It's like I, I punched his nuts into his throat. So he flipped upside down. No, 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 I want you. Um, anyway. So, which... The point being is that the level cap wasn't just three measly points. It's that they balanced the game around this new level cap in such a way that A, you don't have to reform all your gear immediately, and B, things that weren't viable before are now viable in really fun and interesting ways if you're willing to make the effort and see it that way. You know, if you just want to use your one build and don't do anything differently, and you're saying, I'm not as powerful now because my stuff is level 50 and not 53, well, that's you being mad at the world for no damn good reason, and there's really nothing I can say to you. You know, be miserable. Enjoy yourself. 
but if you can't recognize that your level 50 gear is still viable and then when you get the level 3 50, the 53 version it just becomes it's even more powerful that you know you're just kind of missing out for your own i don't know what else going on people like that you know some people just can't be happy and that's okay not everybody has to take uh bobby mcferrin's advice and don't worry be happy so I'm just waiting. I'm going to get rid of these sword guys because they're the most dangerous with the uh, fight. Um, let's get Wotan done. Okay, so what I wanted to showcase with this video is the fact that we are really more powerful at level 53 than we were before. Not by a small measure, but by a pretty large one, right? And I am showcasing this by playing the hardest content in the game with one gun. Okay, there was a time a few months ago where we people were complaining you couldn't get to the raid, it was impossible, blah 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 blah. And here we are with one gun. Right? And so that's a combination, you know, and it's not just people gonna say it's it's skill. I'm not that skillful, I'm too old to be skillful. But um, it's a combination of the fact that they really did a good job with balancing relative to the three-point increase. Second thing is that I have a better understanding of the systems in this game. Why isn't it working? Oh, okay. Please don't take my it up. Please work, please work, please work. That was working. And if you look at what I'm doing here, what I've, one of the things, is what I mean by my, my improved understanding is the following. And it's specifically to this gun. This gun has a special ability that when it goes into overheat mode and it's uh, you have to put out the fire to cool it down it ejects eight projectiles i call it piss it's the stream the reason i call it piss is because each projectile acts like the, it's piss grenade in that ooh, put this on in that it debuffs the enemy so they take 20 percent more incoming damage and there are eight of those projectiles for a total of 160% damage. But on top of that, if you do the, uh, the cooldown animation multiple times and those eight projectiles come out multiple times, they stack. So that's what I'm using for the boss fight. I am stacking 160% damage onto the bosses multiple times which then makes this gun, which on its base damage is really powerful because you saw how I just cleared the first area without using any of the eruption. I, this, this is just the base damage. This is the three level skill cap at work in that first area. All right, let's get these guys. All right, let's get some more out. Get my signal cryo out. Ah, crap, I screwed it up. I'm not worried about this. Because I'm talking, I'm not concentrating. So what I try to do is whenever I point, it resets it, which allows me to stack it. So that's what I was doing. I need to, the warp is glowing red. Ah man, it went on to the minions. They're all glowing. And these guys aren't glowing. But, okay, yeah, actually he's doing pretty well because you can see that shield being stripped pretty effectively. Now it's always been my contention that the uh okay, I don't want to stand here because of that. The knockback. But it knocked me where I wanted to get knocked, which was forward, not backwards. Let's get this dude back. And then this one. He's done. Okay. No no no. Don't do it. 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 I need to get out. I'm not invincible. And that attack can't be, um, there's nothing you can do. Once it starts, you're screwed. And no one wants to even face me so I can get a reset. Got my reset. Now that was skill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so let's stack it up. Watch the difference, watch what happens. So I'm stacking it up. Look at it going at everywhere but at where I want it to go. Like if all eight of them, all of it had hit him, he'd be done. But he'd be doing pretty good work with him right now. He's so done. Am I gonna? Oh, I thought I was gonna maybe go one phase of ass. It's never. I've never seen it in one phase. 
got hack hounds. So we're not gonna fuck around. We're gonna focus them. Because once they shatter our shield, we're screwed. And I'm still keeping on the purple shield because I want those resets. Get his face, get that crit. There should be one left. There he is. Let's get the uh the drone on him. Hopefully we get some piss. Alright, let's let's stack this guy up. Yeah, stack him. Watch the difference. Just just watch the difference. This is just learning. This is just me learning and becoming a better player. Right? I told you guys I was gonna be practicing with the Zeit 7 eruption. And that's the fruit of my efforts. I found how to make it effective. More than effective. Stop flinching me, little shit. This is why you gotta do the shield guys first, because they will flinch you and cause your shots to miss. Get them on this guy. Alright. Ah, where do Let's go. I don't see him. There he is, okay. Let's get some piss on Get him tagged up. Oh no, okay, he's he's all chest wide open, giving us crits. We're stumbling him. And it's working. This is one gun. This is supposed to be the hardest content in the game and we're using one gun and an understanding of certain certain gun mechanics for advantage. You know, this is what this kind of game is supposed to be about. You're supposed to be uh, not just a first person shooter, but it's also an RPG, so you're supposed to be mixing gear and skills and all this other stuff to your advantage. What the? Get the nerves. You're not being stumbled. Let's get going on. It is double projectiles, so it is supposed to be harder. I'm not bitching, I'm just pointing out that you're not being stumbled. Me was like, see, I told you, double projectiles is 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 mean. Why, gearbox? Why? Why do you have to make anything challenging? I don't want to. Oh shit! Let me get the fuck out. All right, we need to bait somebody. Can can I hit? Them? All right, we got you. Though. My reset. Got it. Okay, let's go. No, 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 I want the other guy. There he is. I don't want you dead before you can kill me. You're almost dead. Now you're dead, scrub. Well, he actually wasn't a scrub. He did a good job. He forced me to retreat. So you gotta give him credit. You know what I'm saying? He pushed me back. So, yeah. This is Mad One Takedown. Raid. At four player difficulty, we're using one gun. This is double projectiles, which is supposed to be impossible in the raid, according to some. And uh, we're taking some hits, but we're adjusting accordingly. We're prioritizing the right targets. We're positioning ourselves so when we get knocked back, we don't get knocked off the damn platform. So, you know, there's actually thought going on here, even though I'm only using one gun and making it look like I'm not actually doing anything. I'm trying to do a lot, trying to stay alive. I picked up some junk. 53, and not quite junk. Yeah. So, I, I want to point out what would, what would have happened with this build had I had 11 points. So, we have three, which means that I would have between 7 uh, and 8 depending on whether they did 10 or 11 points. What I would have done had I had those 10 points is I would have gone all the way down to distributed denial and then I would have put on my big boom blaster that drops the 20% damage buff um, thingy instead of the 10%. So now I would have an extra 20% damage um, sustained for free or I might have worked my way down and try to get Trick of the Light. Can I get Trick of the Light? That's uh, five would bring me there. Yeah, I could have gotten Trick of the Light if I don't go down to Distributed Denial. So, which, you know, it's another 36% I think it is at three points, right? Which is more than the Big Boom Blaster would have given me anyway. So it's just, it would have just broken this thing. Then I could have maxed this out too. Like, come 
on or even this even though it doesn't do a ton for a multi pellet weapon it would still be more damage this is completely useless damage the one thing about borderlands 3 and one of the many ways that it differs from its predecessor is that skill points aren't the all end all of power right and we have anointments um we have guns with these special abilities like the piss you know is a grenade that debuffs damage i don't think you have the grenade like that in borderlands 2. not that i remember i know for a fact we didn't have it in borderlands the original borderlands hurry up and jump down scrub right so there are other ways to be powerful besides having skill points in this game and i wish people would recognize that and build and play the game accordingly so they can be powerful like i'm doing now like me spending the time to learn the zeitzev's eruption and using it effectively and i see i don't have to use it these this is just the regular guys i save it for the bosses and the badasses but i'm not having any trouble just killing the regular dudes including some badass here's a badass i'm gonna stumble this guy and wreck his shit right that's just good strategy i use the stumble a lot of people avoid deterrence field not recognizing how truly useful it is as an augment you know and then they bitch about not having access to the other ones on the left side because they don't put their their barrier down it's like come on people get real you know like be smart players don't be an idiot you know learn the mechanics learn the system use them effectively understand that there's supposed to be trade-offs not everything is supposed to be just benefit 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 make a trade-off you know sometimes i'm playing a certain kind of gun and i do want that uh extra damage or the extra reload speed so i use the barrier on the left side but i know it's going to be a more static play style versus the more active play style that i'm engaged in now and that's the trade-off that's what makes it interesting to have that trade-off it also makes it fun. Well, it's fun to me. Some people, I don't know. To each their own, I guess. I guess my point is, I don't see the choices that Gearbox has made with these things as being as bad as some people carry on like it is. And I think I could make that claim because I'm successfully executing in this game. So if it was as bad as they were saying, then my ability to do what I'm doing should be compromised or limited in some way. And the fact that it isn't suggests to me, at least, that it's doable, you know, like, it's not ridiculous to consider that they may have a clue about what the hell they're doing with this game. Because I'm using the tools they've given me and I'm using them effectively. If you're not using them effectively, maybe it's you and not the tool? I don't know. I'm not trying to diss anybody, I'm just saying. Uh, it maybe isn't all Gearbox and you may have a part to play in your success or your failure but that's you know being responsibility for oneself is, is a, I guess a strange concept you know it's always someone else's fault I suppose because you know as much as I'm using this gun if I don't make my headshots I'm fucked I'm not gonna get my resets Right? I, this is not console where you have, um, you know, automatic lock-on where you can just get headshots by scoping in for free. And I, I, I actually have to land these damn things. I'm gonna blow this up and blow up one over there. See, like that. I totally mistimed that. I see this guy. I can freeze him. I t I'm just doing target prioritization. This is what I'm doing. I'm picking my targets based on the situation that I'm in and what my needs are. That's it. Okay, he's glitched, so I'm just gonna move the hell on. Get these guys cleaned up. I'm breaking the barrel so I don't get jacked up later. Uh, let's get this going. Great move. Really? How the hell did I miss that barrel? See, this is why I like aiming downsides because my re my accuracy is improved. So is my recoil. I am getting jacked up by forces. I cannot see. All right, here we go. I got you, my bitch. I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. I need to get behind this dude because like, oh, I'm doing a shield with shield. Okay, I'm being surrounded by these invisible douchebags. 
You're not getting any comfort from fire. I'm gonna shoot you. Ah, uh, nope. Game over to you. I'm good. I'm having a lovely time here in the Malawan takedown. Let's get this guy. I thought it would have had freeze while he was bum rushing, but he didn't. Let's get this dude finished off. Once again, this is. I am not using the eruption yet. I've only used it on the Valkyrie so far. Uh, let's get this guy because he's a badass. Okay, while he's standing there, I can freeze him. Alright. No, this one. See, they're pushing, which is good, which means they're moving in a perfectly straight line, which means I can get my headshots and get my freeze and get my reset. Alright, when the back is turned to me, I don't really try to gauge with them too much because I can't get the crit, which means no freezing, no headshots, no resets. He is down. I need to stumble this guy. He's a pain in the ass up there, but I'm going to try to get him anyway. I can't get a good... I got you. Oh, come on. Got you. I'm also aware that the first hit stumbles, which means the second hits are not going to follow up because he got stumbled. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. I'm going to be patient. Pick my shots. Now I need to find a reset candidate. This is my guy. He's looking right at me. Uh, reset candidate. This guy. Got it. So I change my targets based upon what my needs are. I'm just using my head. Alright. Just to make it easier. Now he's marked. I can take him out easier. The hack hounds are the most dangerous. I'm going to get some piss out on him. Make sure he's tagged so I can track him and find him. I glitched. I need to find a new target for this guy. Back someone down and pop him. So in all that visual pollution, the tag from the drone helps me keep my eye on my target. You know, clearly double projectiles are having an effect, so it was never my contention that double projectiles had no effect, it was that it wasn't the impossibility that people were claiming it is. Trying to get that headshot. Got it. Alright, I'm being pushed by these douchebags. It's fine. Alright, now it's time to create some space and get ourselves situated against this douchey little shit. He's dead. Alright, now for you guys. to get some piss out. Give me my reset. Get a reset. Got you. See, he's just standing there shooting at us. That's an opportunity for us. Like, he has to be the target because he's standing still. And his head is facing us, which means that we can get our crits. When you're jumping around, it's a lot harder to deal with them because you might not get the reset. But when you're standing there shoot shooting at you, that's the target you want to prioritize because you know they're facing you so you can land your crits. These guys, it doesn't really matter because they got a giant backpack. Mr. Invisible. Okay. Let's get it. So, I like the fact that he's over the thing because if I freeze him, then I don't actually have to kill him because he'll just fall to the ground and die. So when he's hanging over the abyss, it's a good candidate to be targeted because if you get a freeze, We'll just fall to... Well, he did not fall to his death. We're going to finish him off. Jump shot, headshot, baby. You know how I love them jump shot, headshots. Yep. And, yeah. So. Not a problem at all. Now watch. The first shot, if I can get the crit, watch him get stumbled. He didn't get stumbled. He got frozen. Nice. Did we get his ass? No, that's his friend guy that came up behind him. Alright, let's see. This guy. Nice! This is why accuracy matters. See? Accuracy matters. 66 rounds. That's some serious ammo efficient shooting right there. And we're about to do the boss and we're just gonna <laughs> use one gun. With plus two projectiles. The impossible mode for player scaling. It's not, and what my point is, I'm not flexing. I'm just saying it's not that bad. You know, we just have to be smart about it. 
and we'll be okay. Ah. We're gonna use the supercomputer between our ears to call our brains. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I'm doing because people, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna tell you everything I'm doing. Like, as I'm thinking it, I'm doing it, I'm just gonna say it so you see that it's not skill or anything like that. Now that is just your target. Like that giant All right. up. I'm gonna try to get this so that by the time I get here, nope, we didn't get him, it hit his, his shield. But I don't need to kill these guys, they're not my target. I'm gonna run, try to position it so that I can get in. Once again, it's been ignored. And now to just shoot him like this. Get my reset. I don't need to kill all of them. I'm watching my minimap so I know where they are. I'm actually listening. I can hear them being bounced off by deterrence field. So that's another thing why I love deterrence field. It gives me an audio cue telling me when I don't have time to look at the minimap where the enemy is relative to me. Because if they're bouncing off the deterrence field, they're right on top of me. Okay, I'm gonna kill a badass so I can proc the victory rush, right? So this gives us victory rush, 80% movement speed, and damage. So that's why I'm gonna target the badass right now. So it's both to get my um, my reset, but also so that I can proc victory rush stacked with the eruption so I can do more damage. Now once I get to half my action skill, then I'll go back to working on ads. Right now, I'm gonna stack up because everything is here, so I know that it's not just focusing. Yep, that was enough. All right, let's see if we can't get him. All right, let's get this. Get it. I want to get him down to a third, and then I'll focus these guys because if I change this to his other phase, he's gonna start using the. Um, the death spheres and I don't want to have to deal with the death spheres and all these enemies at the same time. So I'm going to be using the, the, uh, the drone to mark targets so I know what, what the hell I'm shooting at in all this chaos. So I'm not just blindly shooting or I'm not just shooting and missing. I know that I'm hitting something because I'm shooting where the drone says something is. Alright, let's get some piss out because we have full health so we don't have to worry. Alright, well we're going to have full health. Let's get this frozen guy because so we do more damage to frozen enemies. Alright, we need to get rid of the frostbite. Let's bump him. But we can't get him otherwise. If you're not a frostbite, you're a shock here. Good. Okay, let's target these. This, we're targeting the um, Centurions because they're the ones shooting all those damn rockets at us. Let's get him marked. Get some piss on him. So in all this chaos, I know exactly who my target is because my drone is telling me. So all I gotta do is shoot what the drone says. The drone says, I'm over here with that glowing golden circle. So I know what the hell to shoot. And I know, you know, I got a pretty decent sense of where the crit spot is. So I can hit it just by kind of center massing where the golden circle is. Like, he's taking too much health, so we're going to stack up on him. And we should have him dead now. Alright, we're going to leave, we're going to weaken the war dog so we have second wins in case we get it. Let's get Wotan. We're going to stack up. because I saw that it hit him and it hit the Centurion. So, I was more interested in making sure that he got hit than I was with the Centurion. Now we're going to stack up with the Centurions here. Alright, we know who our target is. An easy kill because we stacked up on him. I hear that. That's an audio cue telling me I'm about to get an incoming missile barrage that ignores my barrier. So I got the fuck out. Okay, he got pissed on. So we're going to clear some of these. I'm going to prioritize the one that's shooting at us. So I'm listening for audio cues. I'm going to leave like two of them so I got second win opportunities. 
but this is double projectiles. So I'm going to stack it up. Let's do three stacks. And I'll only disengage when I hear the audio cue like that. There's no audio cue. I'm staying up. Oh, I'm just going to run away, reload, get my health back. Okay, clearly you want my undivided attention. I understand. I'm sorry I've ignored you. Ah, shit. All this talking to you guys got me not paying attention to the stuff I need to pay attention to. But I'm not going to be stupid. I'm also going to put this in. This way, if I take any damage, I'll have five seconds of immunity. We're going to do it twice. Once on top of the platform and again. So something's bound to hit. Yep, we got max ammo. So let's get back to our victory rush gear. Whoa, a lot of hits. You're dead. Take a look at me, little friend. It's you two, fine. You want my unvited attention, you got it. Okay, now let's focus again on Wotan. Let's stack it up, stack it up, stack it up. All right, that should be good. All right, we have, pay attention to that, let's get out. Get some hits on Wotan while we move. He is focused by our drone, that means that there should be some, in 15 seconds, some piss from the grenades being dropped. Let's clear up some of these guys. Uh, we'll leave a few. Alright, let's stack up. Nice. One more stack. Okay. Good. He should, yep, he still had the stacks on him, which is how we were able to clear that so quickly. I should have done it from the other one. Let's go do it from the other one. Oh, and we need a reset first. Which is why I left some of those guys. Uh, I need one. Give my reset, asshole. Thank you. After I call him an asshole. Now I feel, you know, dirty. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have called him an asshole after he gave me the reset. You know, that was very generous of him. He didn't have to do that. And I apologize. I'm just gonna stand here and shoot his ass. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nothing interesting to say about that. Alright, let's go. Let's get these guys murdered. Let's stack it up a little bit. Actually, let's get the better half. I don't think we had any piss on the ground. Shit, we need a reset. Alright, let's... Alright, good. Let's get some piss out on him. It's going everywhere but him. Alright, finally! He's almost dead. Okay, he's dead. Now let's clean up his... his minions. And then let's clean these guys up. Let's get some stacks going. Stacks. And now we just do put in work. We're just gonna put in work right now. And just fuck some shit up. Just put it in that work. Show me your crit spot, bitch. Alright, he's not taking as much damage as I would like. So let's stack him up. Okay, we should finish him off. Just shoot his legs to get our loot. Alright. Let's clear up a couple of these guys. I heard the piss go off, so he should be taking more kind of damage. Yep, he is. Again, I'm just listening. I'm using the sound cues the game provides. It's telling me what's going on, and I'm just... You know, it might look like chaos, and it is chaotic, but... I'm actually thinking. Let's stack them up. One more stack. Okay, one more stack. Just, yeah, I feel like it's seasoning, you know what I mean? Like hot sauce. Hot sauce. On that ass. Make it spicy. Just make the murder spicy. You know what I'm saying? Right, we're gonna leave those guys up so that we got. We're gonna stack it up. We're gonna stack it up hard for Wolf We got 289 rounds. We need a reset and then we'll get ammo. I need a target. He's behind me. We, we have the immuno ship. We need to heal. I need to weaken this guy in case we need a second win, so let's get something stacked up on him. 
it went after Wotan. When I don't want it to go after Wotan. You just want to get a blow. Alright, we got our uh, we got our barrier. Let's get our ammo back before we do anything else. Try to hit it twice. Alright, we're good. Get our victory rush back on. Not that we need it with Wotan, but I do want the accuracy and the magazine size. Actually, we don't need it. Let's use the slide instead in case we need to run away. If we get magazine size and action skill, which is good. I mean, he should count as a uh, badass. It will give us 18% more damage once he's dead. Let's stack him up. Let's stack him. Did I screw it up? I feel like I screwed it up. I did, but we'll get it up back off the head. Before barrier runs out over it. Get him, 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 get him. Alright, let's go. We're gonna get out, we're gonna hide over here. Let me make sure I didn't screw it up because I need to reset it. I did screw it up. Gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Alright, now we're going. Alright. Let's get Wotan. Seasoned. Deliciously seasoned. We want him spicy. We want Wotan spicy. Come on, Wotan. Wotan. Right, let's get some more. Stop running. I'm trying to season you. I get that shield broken. Once your shield is broken, we'll be good. We still we gotta make sure we keep that guy around because we won't have a second win otherwise. Just keep it moving. Get comes Keep it moving. Two first. Just waiting for my barrier to come back before I do any season. I got five seconds. Here we go. Barrier is back. Let's season things up. It went over there. Why did he go over there? What was over here? Alright, here we go. Here we go. It's over now, Wooten. It's over, Wooten. The Wu Tang. I wanted to call him the Wu Tang the first time I saw him. Like, the Wu Tang fan robot. Alright, let's season him up. It's spicy. Let's, let's end on a delicious note. Let's end on a delicious note. Tasty. Tasty Wotang stew. Work, we just beat the raid with again. one gun, y'all. So, all your guns, all the low level stuff that used to be trash, at least some of it, is now going to be viable because of the damage scaling um, that the three additional levels provide. So, Gearbox, nicely done. Nicely done. You know, you got a lot of armchair quarterbacks that'll sit around and, and carry on like they know how to design games. Uh, completely and totally clueless about any, how any of this stuff really works. But don't be one of those people. Get in here, try some stuff out. Things that you may have thought are not even useful. Like my man Cab Flash has been messing out with uh, Ruby's wrath, messing around with Ruby's wrath and getting fantastic results. A gun that was trashed here now he's doing work i'm hoping to find the level 53 version of my john wick zane guns so that i can do a legit you know four player skill takedown run with my john wick zane build and with three extra points oh my god it's going to be so much fun and that's what you're supposed to be doing have some fun bitch less fun more all right um i want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you learned something or were entertained possibly and I will catch you in the next one. But before I do, one more shout out to Semantics B for making this video possible by getting me this, giving me this gun. I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of the fun I've had doing this game and playing this game has been because of the awesome people uh, on the forums and some of you guys here that send me stuff that I can play with and mess around. It's so I really appreciate it. It's been a real blast. Here's the necessary skill tree stuff loot stuff all right i'll catch you guys in the next one later